are here because we want to unite and we want to cooperate and we want to coordinate our independent moves into one. Of course, for lack of a common time, it took us two months to launch this uh, Manlaban, which is the Manananggol Laban sa Extrajudicial Killings. And as a caveat, before we introduce the conveners, uh, the conveners are here, most of them are here in their individual and personal capacities. Their organizational associations or affiliations are only for purposes of identity. So, why are we here? Because we believe that lawyers, the duty of lawyers is not to apologize, it is not to deodorize, it is not to rationalize violations of rights and due process. It is the duty of all lawyers to consistently, to uncompromisingly uphold and defend human rights no matter what temporary and fleeting positions and circumstances may bring. Including law professors, judges, and law students have banded to form an organization demanding a stop to extrajudicial killings and the escalating human rights violations. The country has been experiencing a spate of extrajudicial killings in the midst of President Rodrigo Duterte's war against drugs. The casualties since he took office last year has reportedly reached at least 12,000, most of them coming from the poor communities. In a blatant disregard of the right to life, thousands of victims who are poor and powerless have been targeted and brutally, nay mercilessly, executed by the state, its agents, and proxies with blatant contempt and disregard of due process. The Duterte administration has also launched vicious attacks against individuals, groups, and institutions, including international human rights advocates that it perceives to be critical of its human rights policies, which not only instill a chilling effect on, but is a threat to freedom of expression. Today, we join the ever-growing voices of protests against rampant killings, which target the poor to defend rights and demand accountability. We form Manlaban sa EJK or Mga Manananggol Laban sa Extrajudicial judicial Killings, a broad network of lawyers including government lawyers, law students, law professors, judges, legal workers, and other legal practitioners opposed to e extrajudicial killings by the government, its, ag its agents, and proxies. Manlaban sa EJK will fight for human rights, especially the sanctity of life. It will help unite and bring together members of the legal profession opposed to the institutionalized denials of due process and violations of the rights to privacy, presumption of innocence, and other basic rights to life, liberty, and security which victimize and threaten the people and make a mockery of the democratic principles and tenets we have learned or taught. We will do advocacy campaigns such as conduct forums or provide platforms on the issue especially in law schools. We, will, we shall also come out with statements and opinions from a legal perspective on human rights issues, join or initiate mobilizations, and use our legal skills to provide concrete legal assistance to victims and help in putting a stop to extrajudicial killings and rampant human rights violations engulfing the country today. Manlaban sa EJK will form forces, will join forces with other se sectors and groups struggling against the descent of the country into the dark abyss of lawlessness persecution of the poor, attack against critics, and human rights advocates, and author authoritarian methods or rule. We demand an end to extrajudicial killings, as well as other ill-conceived draconian measures in any guise or form by the government and its instrumentalities and the genuine, inst genuine investigation and due accountability of the perpetrators. Both faculty uh, members, as we're not going to go there and criticize him for sure. He has a difficult job. He has to uh, uh, do that job um, well. Um, you know, I mean, uh, in my case, I actually welcome now. Uh, he's the one there because I think, uh, uh, given given Duterte, uh, he needed a lawyer as a p p spokesman than a pastor. And I mean. Uh, it seems to me that that's a more uh, a clear fit. Whether 
Harry will live up to his expectations of his colleagues, his friends as a human rights lawyer. I will, I will have to see uh, where it goes. So definitely, uh, in the context of Hollow Blocks, since it's a communing bakery, the answer to the question is Harry. Uh, kung tapos yun ng halo black, ang sagot dapat namin pandesal yung sagot namin sa kanya. Because the, hindi kailangan, kung anong masarap na uh, pandesal. Uh, kasi yung human rights, sab sabi ito na lang sinabi ko, hindi dapat pinag-aawayan yung, yung human rights. I, I consider doing this as a patriotic act, uh, as an act that helps the government and that helps the state. I mean, uh, stopping EGKs would, would, be, would be the best thing that would happen to President Duterte, I think, if we're able to stop uh, EGK's one and uh, once and 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 for all. So even the political uh, opposition, uh, in a way, by pushing uh, the the issue and also helping stop EGK's, they actually uh, favor. Uh, they give a favor uh, to President Duterte because uh, you know there's still five years to go. If this this goes on. You will, what, you will end up with what, 100,000, 200,000 dead? Uh, uh, that, that would be such a black eye for the president, for the administration, for history, diba? So if you actually, already we have 10,000 plus. If you stop there, that's still, iba pa rin yung 100,000 sa 10,000, in, 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 my, in my view. Uh, he has a job to do. We have an advocacy to continue. So the divergence of uh, opinions opi or, or, or statements from either side must uh, 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 reach the level of a principled discourse. So if there is any digression from his previous past, that's something that he has to explain himself, not for us. Uh, he has his own reasons. Now I will respect that. But as far as we're concerned, uh, whoever that may be, that does not affect the advocacy for human rights by anybody because nobody, no matter eminent, prominent, or outstanding, they do not define human rights advocacy. It is the cause for human rights that defines human rights advocacy. And for whom do you fight that cause? It doesn't matter whether it's June, Tony, Dean, Erin, Roel, Jules, or myself for that matter. We are, we are immaterial. We are just representatives of opinions and positions that need to be articulated in public. na ang extrajudicial killing ay pagpatay lamang ng mga media personalities at cause-oriented groups tulad ng mga members ng human rights organizations no? at iba pang mga sectoral groups na merong mga uh, causes na pinaglalaban. So hindi makukover yung mga drug users, drug traffickers, no? at uh, iba pang mga sa pilitang mga pinapatay, marahas na pinapatay. So, ang hirap-hirap na establish talaga ang katotohanan kung ang gobyerno ay dinayal ang sagot sa ating mga statistika at mga pruwebang ibinibigay. Ano po ang sama-sama natin ipapahayag sa gobyerno na itigil na ang extrajudicial killings at enforced uh, disappearances at iba pang mga heinous violations of human rights. At ang iba dito ay hindi ordinaryong paglabag sa karapatang pangtao dahil sila ay itinuturing ng mga krimen. Unsi po na nakupo. O paano ko pa pupuhayin yung unsing bata na yun? Nilubuhay ko ba sila ngayon sa paglalabada? Pag walang labada, wala rin sila pag-aaral, hindi ko sila nakakapasok. Walo po ang estudyante ko. Ang hirap ko ng buhay kasi minsan naiiyak na lang yung mga anak ko. Dapat binibigyan nila ng... At saka taon, 
Sa kulungilan na naman kami nagpaano sa sabak ko, so hindi naman ako ipasuko siya. Kaso, talagang agad binawiyas ka ng buhay. Dapat binigyan nila ako bakit ang magbago. Paano po yung orsi kong anak? Paano ko buhayin yun? Sana po magbigyan sa ng katarungan. EJK po ay isa pang malaking issue. Ito ba ay magkakaroon ng kalutasan? Dahil alam natin na ang uh, mga korte ay uh, hindi po uusad ang anumang mga EJK case. Sila mismo nagsasabi, wala naman wala po raw EJK. No, mula kay Aguirre, sa kay Bato, walang EJK. Ngayon sa bagong spokesperson ni Duterte, ang aking kaibigan na si Harry Roque, wala rin EJK sa kasi Duterte ay gumagalang raw sa human rights. Kaya yun po, gagrad ang tanong ko po sa ating ngayon lahat ay gagraduate ba tayo sa kasinungalingan ng gobyernong ito? At pagpatuloy natin ang uh, pag-alala sa mga biktima ng uh, karahasan, ng kawalan ng katarungan, mula noon hanggang ngayon, hindi tayo titigil hanggat magkaroon sila ng katarungan. Uh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs>